Yeah, you got that yummy, yum, that yummy, yum, that yummy, yummy. Yeah, you got that yummy, 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 yummy. Yeah, you got that. It's your girl Kay Chanel here back with you to slay with me today, okay? I am bringing you this glamoury, okay? Glamoury Valentine's Day look, okay? What you think? What you think? I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I definitely have kept it pretty short. Um, set up some things so it's not long winded because most of my videos have been about 20 30 minutes and that's really long. Okay, it's really long. So, but I think it is very cute, it's nice and glittery and just glammy. Um, even the beat like the beat is full on. Okay, the beat is full, the beat is not skin like today, it is full on, full face, full coverage, full everything, full glam for you. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. Um, if you're loving it as much as I am, make sure you keep on watching. But first, please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, you guys, subscribe. It'll be so worth it to you. And turn on your post notifications. You'll never miss when I upload, okay? So yeah, let's just go get on into this look. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Like I said, this is gonna be such a cute Valentine's Day look. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited to do this. Last year, I did like, a series of Valentine's Day looks, but not this year. I'm just giving you one good bomb one, so we just gonna make this look everything, okay? Seriously, we just gonna make this look to the tier top of the looks, okay? The beat, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera just to speed up this process. I do not want it to be a long winded video. Most of my videos lately been about 20 30 minutes, and that's pretty long to keep someone's attention. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go do my brows off camera. I just wanna let you know what I'm using for them. I'm gonna be using both of the Morphe brow pencils. One is in Mocha and one is in Java. And what I'm gonna be using to conceal my brows will be the MAC Studio Fix Concealer. This was in the shade NC48. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so like I said, I already did my brows and my eyes are already primed with um, P. Louise Eye Base Primer in the shade Rumor number two. And yes, I'm using a little baby girl mirror. Y'all see the list? It's so baby girl. It's a Valentine's Day look, right? So we're gonna be using some form of pink. Duh. Duh. Okay. So we're gonna be using some form of pink. So the first shade I'm going with out of my Julius Place Afrique palette. And I'm gonna be taking one of my Morphe brushes. This is the Morphe M433 brush. It's just a nice blending brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and take Kasai, a kissy, this shade right here, just to be like a nice, simple transition color. You guys know I love me the Jackie Eye in the palette for a transition color. But I want the pink to be the main center, so I want a really nice neutral ash tone transition color, if you get what I'm saying. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply that into the crease, and you know, all the way over up until the brow. Come on, y'all know what I do. Y'all know how we do it. Oh, y'all, these freshly washed brushes just be killing me because all the little hairs keep coming off. All right. So I'm starting to edit my videos a little different now. Um, I think I'm gonna speed up some processes. That's just like redundant. Like, okay, I'm blending the transition color. I'm gonna do it to the other eye. Like, it's gonna be the exact same thing. But I think sometimes I might not speed it up just because some people, like, when I'm watching a YouTube video, I'll be looking at something else on the TV, paying attention to YouTube, but I'll miss what the hell they did. And so they'll do it on the other eye. So, I'm gonna think about that. I think I do wanna 
start feeding some parts up though just because I feel like it saves time. It doesn't have you guys, you know. And that's only if you even watch it for that long. <laughs> like if I go back and look at my watch time and it doesn't even say past so and so amount of minutes, then I know, okay, Keisha, your video is getting a long, your videos are getting a bit long winded. So you need to kind of do something to switch it on up. I'm really just packing this on. Alright guys, so out of that same palette, I'm going to go in with Bintu, I think, but it's this nice, pretty, like, pinkish red color, and I'm going to go ahead, and you already know, put this one directly into the crease, and to do that, I am using the Morphe M506, so we're going to directly into the crease, and try and stay from halfway to the outer. Blending in nice big circles. You already know that gives you the best blend. Always say that. I think my Valentine's Day looks lash. It was so basic. Oh my god. Like I just wanna, and I, of course, like my makeup game itself has improved since last year. I mean, and I'm not talking about. Am I talking about 2019? Girl, I don't know what I'm talking about because I actually upgraded my quality in November of 2018. So, it could have been 2018 or 2019. Girl, I really don't know. I would have to look all the way back on YouTube just to see. Uh, of course it was 2019, can't so like, there's a new year. Oh my God. Of course it was 2019, but still, I just feel like I have grown, you know, of course, so much since then with my own makeup compared to even doing it on clients like yes like you should got the game down hey you're all right guys so i'm gonna just continue packing this on and blending it on out Alright guys, so I have that nice and blended as much as I would like. Out of that same palette, I'm going to go with the car, which is this nice pretty orangey color right up there. And we're going to use that of course to blend out the reddish pink that we just did in the crease. Standing up, keep me on the rise. Lost control of myself, I'm compromised. You're incriminating. Guys, you ain't never running on supplies. The wall is about to be really good to me. Like, baby has all my time. It's backed up. Like, one minute is cold, one minute is warm. And so, my mom, I'm staying back with my mom till I move to my apartment that I'm waiting on. My mom, she just loves the heater. Like, and so I have this fan in my room. Like, I don't have a ceiling fan, and none of us do in this house. So, um, we have this, I have a fan in my room, and I be sleeping with it on, and I think I be insecure myself, like, when I wake up, because of my, uh, sinuses, stuff be just acting up, y'all, they just be acting up. Alright, so I'm gonna take a clean blending brush, doesn't matter which one, that's why I'm not telling you what brush this is, and you know, we're just gonna really blend out under this brow, you don't want nothing to be too harsh or blunt. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my crease cut really, really quickly, and then we'll be right back to finish the eyes. All right, you guys, so I got my cut crease done. So now we're gonna play with some pigments and glitters, of course, because what's a beauty look without some glitters? Um, To cut my cut crease, I use the Morphe Concealer. This one is in the shade C00, because it's the lightest concealer they have is white completely white i don't know whoever used this for actual concealer so we're using it for my eyes okay and the glitters and pigments i'm going to be using aren't these so these glitters right here by Bad and cosmetics it's two different color pinks i'm gonna zoom in so you can see them so they're very chunky glitters they do have some fine um or smaller chunks of glitters in them as well pigment that i am using by 
NYX. It's called Pig. It's the number 09. So this is the NYX pigment right here. It's like a nice pig, pink. So first things first, we have to prime the eyes for the pigment, the loose pigment. So I'm going to do the pigment all over the actual cut crease. So I need the primer to go all over the actual cut crease. As you can see, I'm packing it from the bottom up. I'm not going straight to the um, actual rim of the cut crease yet. Just because I feel like it's easier to get your foundation down of the color before having to go be very precise around the rim. You want to blend back around the rim, at least the outer rim, mid to outer, somewhere right there. Just so you can add, you know, that color into the cut crease. You guys so now it's time for the glitter so to the adhesive will be for the glitter is some lash glue of course the clear side um and i'm gonna just put this on my hand actually and do it from this way instead of me putting it on the eye so that i can get it in the exact positions that i want it in and so the lighter glitter that i'm gonna have for towards the front is gonna be i'm so indecisive like it should be that that pinkish reddish looking <laughs> So I'm going to just take my time and put this on. And yes, like I said, remember they are chunky. So, just want to take your time so you don't get it in your eyes. other eye the more reddish pinkish glitter towards the front and the more purplish pinkish glitter towards the back all right guys so i have all of the glitter on like i said it's very hard for me you know i just feel like you're like someone is really stretching your eyes out but it is so cute um i absolutely love it so last but not least for the eyes, I'm going to go in with some white um, liquid liner. Oh my god, y'all, it's so hard. Though. It's like, um, ugh, I don't know, but the glue just got to dry. But I'm going with some white liquid liner by NYX. You already know. Oh my god, I'm lying. Gotta take my time, I might have to bend down. Yes, yeah, 
That is so cute. Okay, I am so satisfied with my eyes. At least the top of my eyes, I'm very satisfied. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation concealer and set, and I'm gonna come back so we can bronze, blush, highlight, and just finish up this beat, okay? All right, you guys, so I went ahead and did my foundation concealer set bronze. But now we're gonna go ahead and do my blush. I'm using the Wanderlust Buxom Blush Collection. This was in the shade Dolly. I realize I usually just be telling you guys, like, get the Wanderlust blush, get the Wanderlust blush, but I never tell you what shade I use. So this is Dolly. Dolly is so pretty. And it has like a little iridescent glow in it. So, um, okay, I got like a little bug right now. But it has like a little iridescent glow in it. So, to give you a nice little, you know, a little something for me. See how my cheeks going? Yes, girl, yes. Okay, guys, for mascara, I'm gonna use my Damn Girl Mascara by Too Faced. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my setting spray by Too Faced. This is the watermelon flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and do my highlight. I realize I never do my highlight on camera anymore, which is weird. But I'm using out of the Black Radiance Beauty True Complexion Contour Palette. I'm using this highlighter. I absolutely love this highlighter, you guys. Like, this highlighter is so gorgeous. I'm really focusing on right on my cheeks because we gotta get some good pictures today. After this recording, girl. Yes. I'll put a little bit about the brow. Not too much. Just so that when it's time, you can. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 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 So we gotta go ahead and do my nose too. And while I'm highlighting, I'm low key dusting off the powder that's on my nose. So by the end of the brush, just to dust that off. You guys, I am highlighted to the god, to the god, to the god. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's see. I want to put some type of shimmer. You know, right in my little tear duct there. Jackie Ina palette, okay. And I think I'm gonna go with Soleil, which is the very lightest shimmer in the palette. Nice big circle of inner corner highlight. I don't know if y'all can see it. I can see it, but I can see it. I can see it. I think you can see it. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and line, do my liner on the top of my eyes and put my lashes on and I will be right back so we can do my lip. All right guys, so I am back, lashes are on and fluttering, yes. Yeah, have you ever seen them in uh, video of the week before just the fun and last? That's how I feel like these are. Okay, so I'm about to line my lips. This is BFF3 by ColourPop. My eyes are popping. Go with a pretty subtle lip. So this is also by ColourPop. This is the Flying Horses on their lip glosses. But it has color to it, of course. So cute, it's so simple. 
All right, you guys. So this is this is good. It. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my wig off, put some clothes on, and we'll come back and close on this video. All right, you guys. So this is the end of the look. I absolutely love it. I think it's a gorgeous Valentine's Day look, and I think you can do a bit with this. Like, yeah. So you see the glitter? Like, it is so pretty. Like, I'm absolutely loving this look. Yes. She's already in case Chanel's comfort zone. Okay, that's it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, actually, I did a poll on my Instagram of what type of look you wanted to see this week, and everybody voted um for Valentine's Day look. So make sure you go follow me on Instagram at kchanel k a y y c h a n e l with two underscores because that way you can literally vote for what type of looks you want me to bring to you this week. And to say it is February, the first week of February. Hello, I had to come drop a gem like this on. You already know. Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the look and make sure you stay tuned for the next video. So turn on your post notifications so you never miss when I upload. Also, make sure you like, leave me a comment on what you think, and definitely subscribe. I promise you it's so worth it to subscribe. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Hey, you got that Control on myself, I'm compromised Yo.